Hey, we're excited to continue our morning drive coaching series, and I'm pleased to be alongside the National Director of Instruction for Golf Tech, Patrick Newber. And Patrick is here to talk about what you can learn about how shoulder tilt can affect your score. And I know what you're thinking, folks. Shoulder tilt. What in the world is that? That's a good starting point for us. Good Patrick. starting point. So shoulder tilt is a variable of the swing that's not typically talked about, and usually when it is, it's misrepresented. And all we're talking about is just how much you tilt your body or your shoulders down to the ground one way or the other. So tilting to the left and tilting to the right. And how much you do that is correlated to how good you are. So we have Justin Thomas here who's He's really pretty good, right? He's pretty good. He's <laughs> illustrating this point. So at the top of the swing, you can clearly see how he's tilted his shoulders down towards the ground. That's a mm -hmm. left tilt that we're talking about. On average, tour players tilt 36 degrees to the left, Charlie. Mm -hmm. And good players, we know, do it more than bad players. So one of the cool things about working at Golf Tech is that we have the ability to measure the swing. Okay, so, so, so let me just jump in right yeah. there. Just, just show me while you're standing right there. What's an example of, of a bad shoulder tilt so we can sort of compare? Right. It. Yeah, so that would be like this tilt over here where you have the higher handicap. So at the top of the swing, you would be less tilted down towards the ground. Uh, it's hard to find the bottom of the swing if you don't yeah, have the sure. proper tilt. Sure. Then. Yeah, okay. your head starts in a certain space at a okay. test, and then if you tilt enough, your head will stay there. But if you don't tilt enough, where people tell you to turn level to the ground or get your shoulder behind the ball, that can actually reduce your tilt and make your head move when you swing back. Okay. That's the correlation, and that's why that's important for okay. you. Okay. What are we looking at at this angle right Yeah, here? so on the downswing, you take that left tilt and you change that to a right tilt. So at impact, the average tour player is about 40 degrees, but then they keep turn, uh, tilting that more degrees down towards the ground to where that point in the swing where Justin is. You see the hands are about, or arms are about parallel to the ground. Mm -hmm. You've got 49 degrees tilted to the right. And you've been around the game a long time. You've probably never heard anybody explain how much more you need to tilt no. from impact all the way through to this point in the swing. And that's just important to help the golfer to be able to shallow the hit. So it helps him to swing straight into the ball. And even though the ball's sitting on the ground, have a shallow hit so that you can still launch the ball high and in, uh, high into the air. Okay, let's head over to the hitting okay. area. Um, coming in shallow, that's something that we hear a lot. That that has a direct correlation to shoulder tilt, correct? Correct. correct. Okay. That's a big function of it. Okay, so let, let's demo that a little bit. Yeah, well, let's, um, so I would start with the back swing. Okay. So at the top of the swing, we've talked about 36. Well, we also know that tour players when that club is parallel to the ground are at 28. So most of that's happening. So the big thing to practice here would be when you take the club back, mm -hmm. try to make this shoulder work more down as opposed to level to the ground. That would be demonstrating the left tilt. Okay. If you started to, like we talked about, where you move your shoulder level to the ground. Yeah, I see that with amateurs head. all the you time. You probably it's see a it all the time. move yeah. off the ball. Yeah, it's a lack of tilting to the left to keep your head still. That's okay. what that is. So then, on the follow through, take the same shoulder, and then you want to try to make that go as high into the air as much as you can. And what you'll see with that do is that lowers this shoulder to the ground, and that's the right tilt that we saw just in uh, illustrating there. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and is that, when we see Justin up, he, he's pushing up with the left, but he's also getting that steepness there, correct? Correct, correct, yeah. yeah. Okay. So you're doing it for speed, but also just shallowing the head, you know, like him, he's not a big guy, but he smashes that thing out there hundreds of yards. Okay, well, so let's... that would let's, be your way to practice it. I would start, I'm going to, I'll hit a couple here, but I would start simply just by making some swings, working on that left shoulder. Just a little bit closer to a you. Closer to you. There. Okay. Just a little bit more. So make small swings, just trying to move your left shoulder down and then up. Mm. Okay, a couple checkpoints to show you that you did it right here would be that your shoulders are still inclined to the ground here, or you think of your ear, trying to get water out of your ear, putting yeah. that close to the ground would be like a, an easy way to think about doing it. So, so if you're working with a student, you'd have them do that five, ten times, yep. the, the half swing, and it's easier to feel that that position sure. with a half swing than it is a full swing. Correct, that's why you do it. And then maybe even just a couple practice swings and then work into the full swing. Absolutely. Once you get some competency with it or feel good about it, it's time to let it go. Okay. All right. So should we hit one? Well, you're feeling confident and competent. <laughs> yeah, I can see that move. Look at little Justin Thomas right yeah. there. I like you can pose There's that out a little bit. Yeah. Right there, but yeah. Only yeah. difference is he's got a little thicker wallet than you do. He <laughs> does. I don't think it's a little bit either. <laughs> exactly. Well, Patrick, so. thanks for all the great instruction. And we're going to be posting new tips with Patrick Newber, the director of instruction for Golf Tech, uh, Golf Tech, all week long.
on the Morning Drive Facebook and Twitter pages. And for more golf tech tips, head to golfchannel.com slash instruction. Damon, back to you.